This video is going to be pulled pork pot pie. Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. First thing you need is some pulled pork. Now that you have your pulled pork, you're going to need a at least a half catering pan. I'm going to take the half catering pan and I'm going to put some Pam in the pan. Pam in the pan. Next up, we're going to get our pork in the pan. I'm just going to make a even layer down on the bottom. I'm going to break up some of this pork. Just a little bit more. If I were smart, I probably would have minced this, like chopped it up really thinly. Now this pork is actually cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get it in the pan. Then I have some vegetables, some mixed vegetables I'm gonna put over top of the, this. And the mixed vegetables are frozen. Here are my mixed vegetables. Now, because these mixed vegetables are frozen, I'm just gonna get them on here in a nice layer. And I'm gonna even the layer of vegetables out. Now, the next thing, I know this might set some of you guys off. You might be triggered about this, but I gotta get something cooking. I know, I know. Some of you guys might have a problem with this, but I honestly don't feel like making and whipping potatoes. So we're gonna cheat and we're using a package and I'm gonna get the package of potatoes on top, but I have to prepare first. So. All right, so then once you have your potatoes mixed, you're going to take your potato mixture, or if you had mashed potatoes and actually mashed them yourself, like you probably should have. So now you're going to spread your potato mixture on top. Spread it to the corners. Don't worry about the fact that there's fork marks, on, fork marks on there. I'm gonna take care of that in a little bit. I'm gonna get this covered and get it into the oven. I have the oven set to 300 degrees. I'm not in a rush to get this cooked. My wife won't be home for another hour or so. Later. All right, so after it actually was almost about an hour, I let this put, I put this in the oven for 
and my goodness. So we started to develop a nice crust. It looks like this is a decent crust starting to develop on the outside edge. What I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna get just a little bit of cheese put on top and I'm gonna put it back into the oven uncovered. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little cheese on top, not too much. I'm not trying to make this like a lasagna. So now that we have our cheese put on top, let's go ahead and get this back in the oven. So I'm about to heat up to 400. And I'm gonna get it back in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, after about 10 minutes, we're done. hot you see the steam coming off of it guys maybe just wait a couple minutes Can you stop grunting and tell me if you like it? Use some said, words? Yeah, okay. This is really, really good. I would want this again. Mm. Yeah, stop yeah. fidgeting. Talk to me. Um, Do you like the cheese? Do you like its potatoes on top? Mm, I, like. I like I like the, um, the mixed vegetables. With the oh, meat. yes. And it makes something like really, really good. And the top ones, the top is like a coating. Correct. Yeah, I like. I really yeah, it. I like it too. It, ha it has a good barbecue flavor because of the pulled pork, but it also has like a smooth texture when you eat it because okay. of the mashed potatoes yes. inside of it. They're bacon mashed potatoes. Do you taste what? the? I didn't taste the bacon. I thought it was just a pulled pork. Okay, man. Yeah. Maybe. And the vegetables? Vegetables are good, wasn't it? I mean, the vegetables. Eat some vegetables. Let me see you taste the vegetables. I just did. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stop playing, please. <laughs> no, I really didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. Are you deep in thought about something? I'm just trying to compose words to say. Okay. Can't wordless. Speechless? Yeah. I said wordless. I said wordless. I knew my finger. He's missing out. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is so good. He's a storm missing out. So I have my doubts about this, but it's actually very good. Why do you have your doubts about it? 
Of course, you know I was gonna ask you that. <laughs> it's shepherd's pie. When I made shepherd's pie last time, you guys loved it. Yeah. And? I told you I would want it again. I remember. Yeah, but I didn't. I just didn't know how the full pork would fit in with the shepherd's pie. Is it good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Like we said, like with the. Are you blowing on it again? Blow on it again. <laughs> Blow on it again. Look, look, look right there. Oh. <laughs> but it's really good. <laughs> Um, what's it called? The uh, spaghetti. Uh, oh, no spaghetti. No, it's not spaghetti. It was actually it was pulled pork and pasta. Pulled pork and pasta. It was um. There was a lot of clumps of pulled pork. It feels yeah. like strand down thinner pieces. I have, so probably I have pulled pork so, like this. <clears throat> one of the things that I, I thought about once I did the other, um, when I did the, the uh, pulled pork and the pasta, if I were smart, I probably would have minced this, like chopped it up really thinly in the, in the tomato sauce, is I probably should have like diced it up or cut it up a lot more finely um, so that it would have just been easier to eat basically. Cause that's a little chunky. Usually when we when I do a shepherd's pie, I use a ground meat, like a ground beef or a ground turkey. So this is, you know, a little different. But at least we know that we like it. Next time I can try and shred it. So um, how about we, we let the viewers know that if you try one of these recipes with pulled pork, maybe to shred the pork or chop it up, you know, finally. Maybe yeah, not shred it, but at least pieces. chop it up a little bit. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Well then I guess, Please thank, thank wait, you wait a minute. I wanna thank you guys for helping me out with this one. All right, no worries. Now you can tell them thank you for watching. Thank you for, thank you for watching. Please give us a big, a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Comment if you haven't. How about if you like what you saw today or if you learned something, please leave a comment down below. If you like what you saw today. <laughs> or, or if you learned something. Or if you learned something new today. Just if you learned something. If you learned something new. Mm -mm, stop saying new. <laughs> if you learned something. Please leave a comment down below. Please leave a comment down below. Alright. Bye. See you next time.